Bless you. Welcome to the Daily Reminder. Why don't you hang here with us for just a few moments, uh, whether you're starting your day or calling it a night or somewhere in between. This gives us an opportunity to share a thought, a verse, hopefully something that's going to encourage you um, just as you continue in your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. We really do believe that um, we're in this just amazing season, amazing time, though um, there are things happening globally that would cause our very hearts to shake. Um, God is still God and God is still on the throne. And these verses just kind of came to mind today in Isaiah chapter 43. I mean, famous verses. We know the verses. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. And this is, this is what the Lord says through the prophet. Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. He says, behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, and shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. One of the things that we've been saying this last few days is if God is bringing us out of something, it is to bring us into something new. If God is bringing us out of something, and again, that could be uh, the past, that could be the way that the church has always done it, that could be job, relationship, you know, we've mentioned, you know, flirting with sin, whatever the case may be, a way of thinking. Um, If God is bringing us out of something, we're encouraged in the scripture to not remember the former things, to let it go, because indeed he is doing something new. Listen, when you look at the word remember in the Hebrew language, it's the word zakar. It is Z-A-K-A-R, but it means to remember, uh, to recall, it means to record. But I want to say this to you just in, 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 as in regards to this short time we have together. The word remember, when you just look at it in the English language, it carries the connotation of reconnecting or reattaching something that has been cut off or has been amputated. To re- Remember something carries the connotation of reconnecting or reattaching to something that had reconnecting or reattaching something that has been cut off or has been amputated. If if you're walking along and you reach out and you see a good friend and you just reach out and pull off his, his right arm, well you've you've dismembered him. You have dismembered him. Crazy example and illustration, I know, but stay with me. So if you're going to remember him, you take the arm as a part of a, it's one of the members of the body, and you reattach it, you reconnect it. That's a remembering. In this case, the prophet encourages us, the Lord encourages through Isaiah to remember not. Don't remember the former things. Don't remember the things of old. He says, behold, I'm doing something brand new. I'm doing something today brand new. So we want to encourage you because once again, we do believe the Lord is doing Um, something wonderful in our day, and there's an order that he's bringing to our lives that are necessary to line up with him, to stay in will with the, in, in, stay in alignment with the will of God. The Bible says in Ephesians 5 and verse 17 that we are to not be unwise, but to be understanding what the will of the Lord is. He wants us to understand his will. He wants us to come into alignment with his will. And if there are things in my past that are going to hinder me, my thinking, uh, relationships, the way we used to do things. If there are things in our past that hinder us from coming into alignment to understand his will, he is encouraging us today. Don't remember the former things. Don't consider the things of old. Let it go. Behold, I'm doing something new. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.